Right, now we come to open account trade. This accounts for about 90% of world trade, and most trade in Europe and the States is done on this basis. And remember, in any trade deal, the same parties never change. You have the buyer, who is the importer, and the seller, who is the exporter. I always remember that by making SE exporter. They do a deal. Open account, just like domestic trade, means that the buyer and seller trust each other sufficiently that the seller agrees to sell goods to the buyer, ships the goods directly to the buyer's warehouse or premises, and sends completely separately the invoice. And the invoice will be paid at whatever point in the future the buyer and the seller have agreed between them is the appropriate time period. No banks are involved in this structure. Any questions? Mark, why is open account trading so difficult for a bank to finance when it's actually helping the exporter? Okay. Helping open account trade when you're dealing with the importer is easy. I'll explain that in a moment. With an exporter, it's very difficult because if you are the bank sat here and the exporter is your customer and you're not the bank sat here, helping the importer. The challenge you've got is the exporter has negotiated a sale. Typical sale would be for a million dollars, so his costs would be about 0.7 million, making a $300,000 profit. The challenge you have is the seller has shipped the goods and sent them directly to the buyer and has sent the invoice separately. Until such time as that buyer agrees and accepts the invoice, your seller doesn't have a debtor relationship with him. You don't have the goods, you don't have a debtor, you haven't got any structure at all. So from a banker's viewpoint, this is a very difficult type of trade to fund when you're helping the exporter. And it's one that has racked the banking system for about the last decade. Now if you're helping the importer, it's much easier because the importer, of course, has got the goods and an IOU. The IOU is the invoice from the seller which he pays after the agreed interval. Which means that if you're helping the importer, you can take security over the goods which haven't yet been paid for. A much easier proposition. 